Hello everyone, this is Siddiqur Rahman and welcome to the additional lecture of the fourth week. By the end of this lecture, you guys will learn how to design a combinational logic circuit. From this slide, you may see we can learn from this lecture a uh, design about combinational logic circuit. So let's start with the question. First, we need to read the question or you can say what is said or what is uh, what is the co what is the condition to design a combinational logic circuit so let's start with the question design a circuit that has a 3 bit binary input and a single output which is symbolized by z specified as follows output will be 0 or output is 0 when the input is less than decimal 5 and output is 0 or will be 0 rest of the cases. So from the question we may notice there are two things one is input and another one is output. Input should be 3 bit binary and output should be single and the condition states that output should be 0 only when the input the value of input is less than decimal number 5 and the output will be 1 the rest of the cases so let's start with the solution first step should be determine or declare you can say the declare will be the perfect word for this one declare the inputs as well as output first we already know what is the symbol of output from the question which is z but we do not we didn't know that uh, what should be the inputs so first one is let the inputs three bits according to question as english alphabet as well as capital letter a b and c a is the most significant bit or you can say msb and c is the least significant bit of 3 bit binary number and next one is the output which is single bit according to the question and which is symbolized by capital letter z and we already read the condition of the output but for the solution i repeat it again z should be 1 when the input is greater than decimal 5 think about it and remember this thing according to the given condition and z should be 0 when the input is less than decimal 5 according to the given condition next step second step or next step whatever you would like to say we need to derive a corresponding truth table for the condition and as we see as you guys see from the truth table there are four columns one is equivalent decimal number another one is inputs another one is output and the last one is condition or you can say the given condition from the question well we already know from the question that the input should be three bit binary so in that case we get eight combination which is 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 and so on and the output condition is given only two one is when the output is zero and when the output is one output will be zero only when the decimal five when the input is less than decimal five think about it and we have already seen from the truth table the first condition is marked 
and the output will be 1 when the input should be or would be greater than 5 and the bottom portion is indicated the second condition i hope there is no problem uh, a question may arise in your mind uh, not generally in tooth table just we we get uh, inputs as well as outputs but in this tooth table there are two extra things one is equivalent decimal number and another one is condition these two things are added for your clear understanding about the condition and how to derive tooth table for the for maintaining the condition nothing else so don't be confused these things so let's move into the next slide or next step third step would be simplify the boolean expression what we get or what we are getting from the previous tooth table or previous slide tooth table from the tooth table in previous slide we use one of the following two methods to obtain the simplified boolean expression one method will be use Carnot map to minimize the logic or from the tooth table get the canon cano sorry I repeat again canonical sum of product which is in short so boolean expression and we get z is equals to a and not b and c or a and b and not c or a and b and c now a question may arise in your mind how can we write this if we look back at the tooth table we just consider the output will be one we do, didn't consider the when the output will be zero uh, and we can see uh, and this is the way to write the boolean expression uh, for this uh, specific problem and if we simplify using uh, boolean algebra or you can say boolean uh, rules then we can get the simplified version of the output should be or would be b inside of the parenthesis b or b, b sorry i repeat again b or c and a and you may think how the simplification is occurred and this is the task for your homework you can try and let me know what's going on so let's move into the next step and fourth step will be what we are getting the boolean expression for the output that will be implemented by using logic gate and we already know there are there uh, the for this problem and uh, we need to get from the uh, simplified version of boolean expression one is or gate as well as another one is and gate and the out the input should the input would be of the sorry for the or gate one is b and another one is c and one of the input of the AND gate would be the output of OR gate as well as another in, in another input would be A and finally we get the output which is symbolized by Z according to the question the required designed circuit is the above one or this one So I hope uh, you guys will understand if you follow my words from first to last to design a combinational logic circuit. So that's all for this lecture and thank you guys for your attention. See you guys in the next lecture. Till then, thank you.